and uh, today I am here with the tutorial with the difference between selection tool and direct selection tool. So today we are going to see what is the basic difference between selection tool and direct selection tool. So for that purpose I will just create here some shape. Now let's just suppose I am creating here one rectangle. So one rectangle is here and I will just create some copies. So to create the copies I will just go to my selection tool which is here and will select this particular box, will press alt then we'll move it with the help of shift so that it will be aligned accordingly. So here now my one copy is there and again we'll select it and we'll create another copy on top and then just I will place it here. So let me just decrease the size of the page so that it will be visible properly. So now here my three set of square is ready. One two and three so if suppose I am using my direct selection tool or here selection tool anyone so right now I have selected selection tool with the shortcut is V so if I select it then it will get selected from all the portions and it will be moving from one place to another place but if I use my direct selection tool then I have opportunity to edit it from all different point corners I will show the example let's see this clearly so I have right now selected this entire portion, this two particular anchor point. So now I will just go to this particular anchor point and I will just move it a little bit so that I can convert the shape from one portion to another portion. And now I have this particular section. I will be doing some editing over here. Same order. I will just select this two particular side anchor point and then we'll just hold it will just select it and then just hold the anchor point and move it accordingly and then we'll just align it so now here we can see earlier we were having three different square but now we have converted that into one box one cube box so here is one example of your selection and direct selection we can do a lot of changes with this now let's say for example I will just make a copy we will just make a copy of this particular box and uh, here is the copy now let's say for example suppose if I have to decrease the height of this particular box now for example I am using this direct selection and I have selected this entire box and as I will reduce the height it will change the proportion also you can see like this proportion got changed but if suppose I am using my direct selection tool and I have just selected this bottom three anchor points one two and three and now if suppose I just select it and just move it a little bit up then we can see now the proportion is similar and my height also got reduced now I will just select this entire box and will move it to the top of the another box so now here we can say my one packaging box is ready it is not visible why because my layers are behind so here we are having layer section so we will select it and just I will show you here once I will just select one two and this three portion and I will just click it we'll go to here arrange and send back similar way here also we'll arrange and send to back so now we can see my that box cover is also here visible okay so this was your one example and now let's say suppose if I have to select one section here one section here then it will be selecting individually so how we can combine this we can select it all together we can right click and we can group this is one option another option you can go to object you can group and third option you have shortcut that is control G to group the entire object so now if you will select it and you can move entire box accordingly so this is one example another example I will show you like let's say for example we have here one circle now we are going to change the shape of the circle so we'll just select the direct selection tool and now I will select uh, one sort of uh, anchor point I can reduce the size from one portion 
I can again I will select the top edge area now here I have handle so I will just hold the handle and I will start moving it accordingly so that it will give some different shape so we can transform the shape whatever we want and whatever we like accordingly so this is my one sort of another shape which is converted so a lot of things are there which can be done with the use of only direct selection tool now let's say for example we have here one rectangle box okay let's make it a square small square okay so here we have certain points one two three four four points are there now let's say I am using my direct selection tool so when I'm using my direct selection tool then at this particular point now let's say, suppose as I have clicked over here this section so now we have convert selected anchor points to smooth as we will click there then it will change the shape automatically and after that we can increase the size we can decrease the size depends on the requirement and we have handle over here to adjust it accordingly so these are few examples with the difference like how you can use your selection tool and direct selection tool so just go through it practice it and uh, then after that you can use it accordingly as per your requirement thank you so much Keep learning, keep watching. If you have some doubts and queries, you can put in the comment section.